Thanks for viewing this online giving tutorial. In this video, we will be discussing some of the major reports inside the online giving system. Inside the online giving system, in your middle column, you have an option for reporting. Inside there, we're going to touch base on three of the major reports in the online giving system. First is the individual giver detail report. And what that is, that's a detailed report that shows all the information and all the history of, of an, one individual inside the online giving program. The nice thing about the individual giver detail report is you have a search option. So if you get to a point where you have 20, 30, 40, 50 individuals or more in the system and you're, uh, you're not able to, to scroll through and, and search, you can, you can type in a first name, last name, or envelope number to quickly and easily pull up the individual you wish to view. Then you'll click on the name of the individual and then click here to view report. The system will then show you their specific individual giver detail report. In the top section, you'll be able to see their personal information, as well as whether or not the account's been activated or not. If this box is unchecked, that means that somebody set up an account in the online giving system, but did not actually click on the email link that came to follow after they set up that account. So they need to click on that link or get a new one from the tech support team to make sure that they can then activate their account. Below that, what would be the payment methods? And if any of the options underneath from payment methods down are not there, that means that that information has not yet been entered in the system. So if you see payment methods, that means that the individual did set up their payment methods. If you see active giving, they've, they've set up and they're doing active giving. If you see history, they're doing history, or they have some history after they're giving. If anything's missing, that means that they did not fill that information out, or they're not actively giving, or they have no history of giving. Below that payment method, you'll see what they're currently giving to, and then when their next contribution date is, as well as whether or not they've suspended the account or not. And below the active giving, you'll have a history of giving. That's going to show you all the transactions that they've had and the date that that happened on. You'll also see failed transactions listed in red. With most of our reports, you can export them to either a CSV, PDF, PNG, rich text file, text file, or Excel document. Once you've selected the document you wish to save it to, you can simply click the Save button, and it'll export it and save it to your, heart, to your computer. You can print the document from the icons over here on the left, or you can scroll through the different pages with the drop-down or the arrows. Once you've finished with the report, you can simply click the X to close the report. Next, we're going to go on to the giving detail report. This report will allow you to pull based on a fund or group of funds, based on a gift type or all the gift types, and then based on the date range you choose. You can also sort and filter depending on the information you're trying to view it and how you want to once see it. The, once the report is displayed, you'll be able to see which fund, who with their envelope number, and then the information about their report when they gave, how often they're giving, the type of giving they're giving, the type of giving their gift type is, the gift amount, any additional giving, which would be the three dollars additional for one-time gifts to help offset the fees for credit cards, as well as the total amount, and then at the bottom you'll have a total for each column. Last but not least is the reconciliation report. This report is designed to help you with reconciling between the online giving program and your bank statement. You'll click on the reconciliation report and you'll pick a date range. And then once you view the report, the system will give it to you similar to this. By default, to help reconcile, I always recommend to export to Excel. And what that's going to do is give you an Excel document that you'll be able to be allowed to open. And then you can sort and filter and do any of the additional things you wish to do with the you'll file. see here that you have a settled transaction date, a batch with a type, in parentheses card, or check, depending on, or ACH, depending on the type of giving that it's done with. For payment types, this is for your credit card, so you can see whether it's a Visa, MasterCard, Discover, or American Express. You'll be able to see the giver with their envelope number, and then any and all funds that they gave to with the amount. So these can get rather large if you have lots of funds in the system. What we recommend doing is when you find a total column, and that's for each batch 
for each date because you can have one batch of credit cards on a day and one batch of, of ACH transactions on a day. We recommend highlighting the totals so you can get a better view of the amounts that are there. And what you're looking for is the total for the date for a batch. And what that's going to show you is the, is the total that you will then see on your bank account. Just keep in mind the factor in the two to five days of business of processing time it can take. Uh, and that's business days. So if, you're, if you've got weekends or holidays involved, it may take just a little bit longer. If you wish to sort and filter inside the report, you can do so on this page as well. If you wish to leave it inside here and you don't want to export it to Excel, uh, we do recommend getting a, uh, if you can, print it out. Because what you can do then is put it side by side with your bank statement. And you tend to see, then there tends to become a pattern that you'll see based on your reoccurring givers. And, and those batches will start to, to help line up. And over time, you'll get a rhythm going with reconciling your bank statement. Uh, also, transactions that, that come near the end of the month, you, you most likely will not see on that bank statement, but will see on the next bank statement, because those transactions may finish over in the next month. As always, thank you for joining us for this tutorial. If you have any questions or need any additional assistance, please call us at 1-800-348-2886, extension 4, or email us at onlinegiving at osv.com.